In the 1970s, a chemical compound named glyphosate emerged, promising to revolutionize agriculture. Sold under brand names like Roundup, it offered a simple solution to a persistent problem, weeds. Glyphosate, a potent herbicide, effectively killed a broad spectrum of weeds, making it a farmer's dream. Farmers could now control weeds with fewer applications, reducing labor costs and increasing yields. Glyphosate's effectiveness and ease of use led to its widespread adoption. It quickly became the world's most popular herbicide. Its use skyrocketed with the introduction of genetically modified glyphosate-resistant crops. These Roundup Ready crops could tolerate the herbicide, allowing farmers to spray their fields indiscriminately, killing weeds without harming their crops. This innovation further cemented glyphosate's dominance in agriculture. It became a cornerstone of modern farming practices, promising increased productivity and efficiency. The chemical giant Monsanto, the developer of both glyphosate and Roundup Ready crops, reaped enormous profits. The world embraced this seemingly miraculous solution, unaware of the potential consequences that lurked beneath the surface. A silent threat was brewing, one that would challenge the very foundations of this chemical-dependent agricultural system. Initially, glyphosate seemed like the perfect herbicide. It possessed an almost mythical quality. Industry experts touted its safety and effectiveness, claiming that weed resistance was highly unlikely. Farmers, reassured by these claims, embraced the chemical wholeheartedly. However, nature had other plans. In 1996, a single farm in Australia reported the first instance of glyphosate-resistant ryegrass. This discovery sent shockwaves through the agricultural community. The seemingly invincible herbicide had met its match. This isolated case soon multiplied. Reports of resistant weeds began to surface worldwide. The problem escalated rapidly. Today, the issue of glyphosate resistance is no longer a matter of speculation, but a stark reality. The International Survey of Herbicide Resistant Weeds lists 59 resistant weed species across 31 countries. These glyphosate-resistant weeds, often referred to as superweeds, pose a significant threat to global food security. Their emergence has shattered the myth of glyphosate's infallibility. It has exposed the potential consequences of relying too heavily on a single solution. The rise of superweeds has had profound implications for farming practices and the environment. Farmers are now grappling with the resurgence of weeds they once easily controlled. This resurgence necessitates additional herbicide applications, often with more potent and toxic chemicals. This increased herbicide use has detrimental effects on soil health, biodiversity, and water quality. It creates a vicious cycle of dependence on chemical solutions. The economic burden on farmers is also significant. They face rising input costs, reduced yields, and increased labor demands. The environmental consequences extend beyond the farm. Glyphosate runoff contaminates waterways, harming aquatic life and potentially impacting human health. The widespread use of glyphosate has also been linked to the decline of crucial pollinators like bees and butterflies. The emergence of superweeds is a stark example of natural selection in action. When glyphosate is applied repeatedly, it creates a selection pressure that favors resistant individuals within a weed population. Those weeds with genetic mutations that allow them to survive exposure to the herbicide will reproduce and pass on their resistance traits. Over time, this process leads to the evolution of weed populations that are no longer susceptible to glyphosate. The herbicide becomes ineffective, rendering it useless against these resistant weeds. Several mechanisms can contribute to glyphosate resistance. These include target site resistance, where the herbicide's target protein within the plant mutates, and metabolic resistance, where the plant develops mechanisms to detoxify or sequester the herbicide. Understanding the science behind glyphosate resistance is crucial for developing effective strategies to combat this growing threat. It highlights the need for diverse weed management approaches that prevent the evolution and spread of resistance.